peace and tranquility in the heart of central London. Um, the boats are very close. Any noise or smoke does affect us. Dawn Arnold has lived in this property overlooking Regent's Canal for over a decade. But over the last few years, she says pollution and noise from nearby boats is worse than ever. A barbecue going, dogs barking, children running round from boat to boat, um, an engine noise. This is the canal path and they just take it over. The pirate boat, this is, this is the troublesome boat. Campaigners say the problems come from overcrowding. More people are choosing to live on the water because it's cheaper than buying or renting a home. We, we do our best to try and make sure that everyone else is happy and we don't want to cause any nuisance for anyone. Uh, boaters make a noise and sometimes residents also, so it's 50-50. When you're living in such close, close quarters in a city, you're always going to have some people who annoy other people. The ongoing tension between boat users and homeowners here has led the London Assembly to launch an investigation into how waterways across the capital can be better managed. So whose responsibility is it? One local councillor says the Canal and River Trust aren't doing enough. Uh, the underlying problem is that the Canal and River Trust are not enforcing the terms of their licence. Um, so that a bit like a badly run pub or something, it attracts um, people who, who, who don't want to behave themselves. Whenever we get any uh, complaints or incidents reported to us, we always take that up with the boat. And ultimately, what we can do is take away a boater's licence if they continue to break the terms of their licence. Residents say boats are part of the community and they'd be sorry to see them go. What they're asking is that they comply with the rules of the waterways. Emilia Papadopoulos. BBC London News.